is up everybody? We're ready to go here. If you cannot tell, we're all loaded up. We're ready to go in the big rig, headed to West Virginia. And it's a four hour drive. Should be pretty easy compared to the rest of the drives. I mean, luckily these last three races are pretty close to me. And excited to get there, battle with the best in the world. I'll see you guys all in like a few hours. Peace. What is up everybody? We just got to the track. We're all unloaded, ready to go. Um, it is hot out here. It's probably like 80 degrees and not a cloud in the sky though. Got some reports from people already walking the track since they don't let the pros walk the track that it is rocky, dusty, and tight. A little bit off camber. I'm going to walk some of the track in the morning, get a look at it, and hopefully it's not too bad. Guess who's on the t-shirt? Oh. Hey everybody, welcome. Guys, it's going to be a good weekend. I'm on the shirt. There's BNR Motorsports. Hey. Oh. So what do, you, what do you think here, JM? It's gonna be hot tomorrow. Ah, uh, it is. I'm excited though. I've been training with Kenny Schick and riding in the heat the last couple days, so I should be all right. Should be good to go. What do you think, Rachel? You better be good to go. Okay. Oh, well, all I can tell you is it's gonna be hot and dusty and probably terrible. Yes. I uh, watched JM almost dying to these trees back here. <laughs> last year so we're gonna try to not do that this might time. might find a replay for that for you guys. So, you guys need to uh, watch his videos so I have to quit hearing him talk about watching his videos. So, <laughs> Wesley Wall. I'm missing this out of my toolbox. I'm, I'm literally tearing this thing apart. <laughs> I found two! <laughs> about to have dinner with the whole family. Should be a good time and a lot of food. What is up everybody? Just want to give a little race recap. Started off the race with a third place off the whole shot. My BNR motor pulled me to the front. Definitely I did not get the jump I wanted, but the motor just pulled me right around the first corner and some of the guys on the inside got a little tangled up, which just let me 
go right around them. That's why I like setting up on the outside off the start. And went into the woods about fourth place behind Walker Fowler. But went through the finish line in seventh. Uh, first lap was super dusty. Didn't want to risk crashing or getting hurt on the first lap, ruining the whole race. So took my time, picked out my lines, watched some of the other guys when I could see them through the dust, see what lines they were taking, see what was faster and what wasn't faster. And second lap, Cody Collier. Battled with him. Awesome battle. I know last weekend he was beating me at the Wexer, and I knew he was going to be pushing at this race. Battled with him for a while. He ended up making a little mistake and going over one of the dust berms, which just let me sneak by and put some dust in between him. So I, third lap, came around and Finally called up to Wesley Wolf once or twice. Every time I would get close to him, he, we would catch a dusty section. He'd pull away again. It was like a slinky effect. And I think that's what everybody was going through because the dust was just so bad. You couldn't get close in some sections. But fourth lap came around and just pushed one more time, one more hard time. I put I gained about 20 seconds on Wesley and... Uh, just wasn't enough. He, he got me a little too much the first couple laps and what am I going to do? Sixth place, sixth overall. I'm pretty happy with that guys. I'm excited for next race and I'm ready to go. I'm mentally and physically prepared already and not too sore or banged up. Banged up my wrist a little bit but it's already feeling better. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my videos and Liking my last video, we got like 70 likes in like 4 days, which is sweet. So like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching people. Peace.